<laughs> hey guys, it's Ben from Media's Play Games today, giving you my Freezer deck profile. So I was testing out um, the Ultimate Box Vegeta leader for a while, and I just found that like this deck is probably just better for the coming format, for next format, seeing as SS3 is banned, Flukes at 1, so yeah. Um, and it went pretty well for me today. I came second, or came third because the challenge is weird. Um, but yeah, I only lost to the announced deck because that deck's really weird and I'm just not playing the right cards to counter that deck. So yeah, um, Freezer Leader. Why Freezer Leader? Because you pretty much want to like untap your uh, Carrying Mother Videls and your Scrambling Assault Gotens to draw as much as possible. So this side untaps one, um, one of your battle cards in the end of your turn, while this side untaps two. Um, it's a leader that came out in set one, it draws two on an Awaken. So, super combos, I play two Shigesh. The only reason why I play two Shigesh is because people will be maining Kronol from now on. Um, if you are like, if you are going to events where they're not siding, you could run four. But um, this is for like, if you're going into events where they're not siding. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I play two of the pure-hearted Sun Gokus. They're pretty much your Dodorias. They do the exact same thing, except you can search these off Planet Vegeta. Um, and I play two Unbreakable Super Saiyan Sun Gokus just because they're one mana uh, 10k draw. But the thing is, if you have the big Bardock on the field, then he's just a zero mana 10k. Um, I do side two in when I go um, like turn like in game two and take him out for the Shigeshes, just because I know people will side Quinellas. Uh, because we're a Freezer's army, you play four Cold Bloodlust, which are very good for the format. No matter what deck you're versing, if you're versing Rogue, if you're versing Cell, um, yeah, it just basically deals with anything. And I play four Flying Nimbus. Flying Nimbus, I am getting off like turn two, turn three against aggro decks. And then um, versus non-aggro decks, they're like turn three onwards. Um, playing three Planet Vegeta because Planet Vegeta just helps with the late game. Um, and you're searching out your Shigeshis, you're searching out your Bardocks. And I still play two um, Explosive Power Sun Gokus. Which, uh, of course, you know, if they swing, try and swing for, for game, you go Shigesh Kid Goku and destroy their life. Um, I play technically six Bardocks. So we play two Successor of Hopes, which search out your, um, your swap engine, so your Bardocks and your. Uh, Father Gohans, um, and we would play four Bardocks. The reason why is because you can aggro out really well. You want to go, you, you pretty much want to just get this first turn, so you can go like a Caring Mother of Dell or a um, Sun Goten. And then, um, of course, two Father Sun Goku, uh, Gohans. These are your one mana swap, but they're also a blocker. So late game, I do put, kind of put them on the field just so they can block things. And then uh, three Gene. The reason why I only play three Gene over four is that I don't really want to mana these because I found a lot of the times when I was playing it at four, I was mannering them a little bit too much. But when like when you're like just running it at three, it feels like they're really rare, so you just place them down. Um, three Caring Mother Videls. These are really good if you're going first. I would recommend to like side this out to three and then this to four if you're like going turn. If you're going first, because you mainly want to go like this turn one and then this tap, draw a card, um, and then untap at the end of turn with your leader. And then of course four scrambling arsehole Gotens. Um, so late game on your awaken side, you mainly want to have this and this on the field because what will happen is you tap this, give this 5k, draw a card, swing with this, it's at 15, so it is swinging at leader um, for like a decent number. And yeah, so that's basically the combo there. Um, I chose to go with the King Vegeta engine. This is a bit big, but I feel like you do need it because you, there are a lot of like mana things that you don't want to mana. So um, I play three Lord of the Great Ape King Vegetas, and I play uh, three of the Absolute Defense King, uh, Great a King Vegeta. So, of course, these untap at the end of the turn if you have Planet Vegeta on the field. But I found a lot of times, like, you can just, um, like, leave them on the field and then untap with this as, for as long as you can. Um, of course, giving you all your Saiyan's barriers. So it's giving you these barriers. It's giving this barrier. Basically, the only things in the deck that it really isn't giving barrier are just these. So your Gohans and your Videls. Um, and I play... Four Foil Bardocks. Shout out to my mate over in Perth that actually sent these out for me. Um, you know, he did a really good deal on these and sent them out express for me. 
Um, so these, you can get these out on turn two by comboing over a Bardock, and then it comes onto the field. Um, but uh, other, than, other than that, you pretty, pretty much get it down turn three. Um, but late game, you do want to just hard cast these because late game, you, are, you can't really rely on getting these on the field. Um, but yeah, I play one scientist food. The reason why I'm only playing one scientist food is I found this deck is really tight. Um, and you can deck yourself out versus a control deck. And two banisher foods. Uh, banisher foods are really weird right now. I felt like these were really good to go up against like the Bardock decks because like Marsane is what I do side instead. Because Marsane will get around the announcer deck, which is what I lost against. And a lot of decks that like kind of just chuck a lot of 1Ks down. But yeah, um, this is kind of like depending on your locals and depending on what event you're going in. Um, I feel like this is the better option right now. But Banish Refuse is still really good because they can pop blockers. Uh, bad matchups are green decks because green will run the, um, the one mana... Vegeta blocker, uh, not blocker, the Vegeta pop card, negate, because what will happen is you'll have to like swing with leader or swing with a battle card or one of these, they'll negate and just pop this, so it really hurts, you can't get these out really early, but um, versus most other decks, it's pretty good, the only real thing I change out are these from our scenes. So yeah, that's it for the deck profile guys, I hope you like it, I'm probably going to play this at regionals, maybe change it up a little bit, but yeah, that's it for the video, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm done! Dean? Sean? You guys still here?